We've roughed out these icons using just simple shapes, but we really need to take it a step further for our icons to look as good as they can. And that's going to involve making some complex shapes that look more like the things that we could draw with the pen tool, but have the precision of the shapes to them. So the first thing we're going to start with is the spout on our first icon here. So obviously we don't want it to actually be a whole crescent. We want it to look more like a spout. And so we need to combine shapes in order to get that. And we're going to, have to try some different things here. Probably won't get it right the very first time. I think that using an ellipse here might help us out. Try and get the shape that we want. I always like to save everything that I'd work on so that I can get back to it later drag over these guys and then duplicate them off to the side here and that way it's just saved over there on the pasteboard we can get back to it later if we need to but I just like to have that saved before we start cutting things up so we're going to be using what's called the geometry functions which you might be used to from other programs being called the pathfinder or the merge options they're found in the edit menu and we're going to just try and figure out what we can do to kind of bring these things together in the best way possible. So you can kind of see if we hit add, then they'll be combined together. If we hit subtract, then the front shape will be subtracted from the bottom shape. If we hit intersect, then only the parts where they overlap will be kept and if we hit divide, then all the pieces will be kept, but they'll become separate objects unto themselves. And if we hit combine, then they'll all become one shape, but with the middle part left out. So we really have to try and get this to where we want it to be using those operations. So I think the first thing that I need is just kind of a half circle. So I'm going to come here, get the rectangle tool, and drag a rectangle onto half this circle. Add my move tool, bring these together, and then I'm going to subtract. So that way I get a half circle there that I can use in my spout. Okay, so I think I just need to do the same thing and divide the crescent at the half. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle over it and put it on the halfway here and then select both of them and do a subtract all right now with this guy here i can kind of play with where i put him in this half circle to kind of create the concept that i'm looking for here This guy's too big. Okay, I'm just going to duplicate that before we do anything else. And then we can try and merge them together using the add command. And that's getting close, but it's not exactly what we wanted. Just going to rotate that using the rotate handle at the top. And then bring this down here and see if we can kind of get those sides to align. Grabbing the node tool, I'm going to just work with an individual point here to just adjust this to be kind of right where I want it to be. Now we're getting closer to what we wanted. And you just kind of keep playing with it. I really think we need to probably adjust the handle on the Bezier curve here. We just need more curvature out of this. Okay. 
until we get okay the kind of shape that we're looking for so you start with shapes and then you adjust as needed using the node tool and then I think we have something that looks pretty close to a drinking fountain alright let's move over to the water bottle filler one and what we really need to do here is we need to duplicate this so that we can use it to cut the circle so we'll do a direct duplicate on that so it can be in the same spot click add to selection pick the circle and then from our geometry menu we will actually choose to do the intersection so that we keep just that part of the circle that's inside of the rounded rectangle and then we're just going to have to make some adjustments here we're going to drag this up into that and of course I'm going to duplicate that to save it for later if we need it and then we'll do a quick merge here bottle and we'll just scale it down a little just to give us some space and set it back in the circle give it kind of that feeling okay I'm kinda of liking where this is going there's one other thing that I really want to try and that is to take this shape that we made for this icon and make it its own icon drag this out and I can make that bigger holding down one finger on the screen will let me keep it in proportion and using that, I then wanted to see if I can just use that to create an icon that people will recognize as a drinking fountain by putting some water coming out of it. So I'm going to use a small ellipse here, rotate it to create the hole, and then I'm going to fill it with black. And then I am going to draw a line or a curve, I mean, with the pen tool. Put the first line there. Oh, I'm still on line, so we'll undo that and we'll go to pen. Okay, so that line could represent water, but I think we can do a little bit better and so for that we're going to alter the stroke and we're going to make it dotted and then we're going to zoom in here so we can see we're actually going to increase the gap and we're going to decrease the dash size until we get these little dots and increase the width Okay, so that gives us kind of this illusion of water coming out of this spout, and I think that could work. I think any of these could work as an icon for a drinking fountain in an airport that would really help people to figure out where they're going and get what they need out of it. In the next course, we'll talk more about dealing with the fill and the stroke on here.